everyone. My name is Om Priya and I'm an educator of Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy website and you can also download Unacademy learning app. Right. And friends, uh, let's talk about the subject. So in this entire lesson, we will be dealing with the Star Delta Connection and its transformation. So if you like my courses, you can uh, directly follow me and rate and review my courses. And don't forget to give it a big thumb. We have a YouTube channel. Please subscribe it. So let me tell you something about the lecture pattern. So this is our lecture pattern that we are going to follow in a whole lecture. So what we'll do, first we'll take a gate question, two marks question, then the related theory. So the related theory according to the question is delta and star conversion. And by the end of the lecture, we will solve that particular question. So this pattern is very beneficial for the gate aspirant as well as if you're preparing for any exam, then please follow this pattern. Because if you need a quick revision, these kind of lecture is equally important, right? And if you really want that uh, any topic, you want to gain the topic and you want uh, the topic should be in your mind for a long duration then please follow this pattern let's start here this is a two marks gate question uh, although nowadays nobody will ask you directly to convert delta into star it will be embedded in a complex network then you need to convert it right so let's read the question in the figure are a, B, C, R, A, R, B, and R, C are 20 ohm, 10 ohm, and 10 ohm respectively. The resistance R1, R2, and R3 in ohm of equivalent star connection R. So, typically they are asking to convert delta structure into star structure. Right? So, we will see how to convert First, we have a delta star. Let me tell you what is star connection and what is delta connection. So, this close connection, this is known as a delta connection, having a three branch and a three nodes. Sometimes it is known as a pi network also, because from any side, if you split this particular point, make it is an equipotential so you'll get a pi kind of network then another one this is known as a star network open network having one node and three branches and this is also known as a, known as a y network can you see a y so this is a reason this is known as a y network so i hope you can easily differentiate what is delta and what is star connection now, how to convert star to delta? So, this red color shows a delta connection having a resistance R A, R B, and R C. And by the help of a blue color, you can easily able to see a star connection R1, R2, and R3. So, you can easily identify this connection. And we have to convert this star connection into this particular delta connection, right? So, I am representing the star with the help of a blue color and delta with the help of red color. So, the star connection is given and we have to convert it into a delta connection. So basically in short we can say R1, R2 and R3. These resistance are given in star connection and we have to convert it into delta and have to find R A, R B and R C. Now let's see how to find R A, R B and R C. Finding a R A, this resistance, there is a formula. You can easily able to remember what we need to do. First, we need to 
find an equivalent resistance for numerator. So how to find equivalent resistance? So what we will do? First we will multiply the adjacent resistance R1 into R2 then add up with R2 into R3 then secondly add up with R3 into R1. So this is known as an equivalent resistance. Whenever you want to convert star into delta, you first need to find the equivalent resistance in this way. R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1. Or you can say delta R equivalent resistance. So in numerator, you always put this. Now, see, uh, we want to find this Ra. So whatever the opposite start connection branch of this RA will put it into a denominator. So the opposite branch of RA is in star is R1. So we will put here R1. Similarly, in order to find RB, first we will write the equivalent resistance star equivalent into a numerator. So R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 in numerator and divide it with the opposite resistance. So here the RB opposite in star is R2. So we will put here R2. Similarly, in order to find RC, first we will write the equivalent star resistances R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 and divide it with the adjacent star resistance. Now the adjacent actually opposite. So you can see the RC, RC opposite star branches R3. So we will put here R3. So in this way, you can easily able to define, easily able to identify the RA, RB and R3 out of star connection. Right? Then how to convert delta? Suppose this delta connection is given, that means RA, RB and RC is given and we have to convert it into a star, right? So if we want to convert into star, then we need to find R1, R2 and R3. So all you have to do, whenever the delta is given and you need to convert into star, then place a star connection. Touching these nodes, can you see? Now we have to find this R1, R2, and R3 out of this delta. So, to finding R1, first we have to do an equivalent delta. So, you can easily find equivalent delta for denominator. Can you see the denominator is same? So, how to find the denominator equivalent resistance? All we have to need to do. RA plus RB plus RC. So in this way you can easily find the equivalent resistance and that we will put it into a denominator. Numerator is slightly changed according to the position of resistances. See we need to convert delta to star right. So in order to find this R1 value. So what we will do? We will see the adjacent delta resistance connected to this R1. So what are the adjacent delta resistance connected to this R1? Rb and Rc. So we will put here Rb into Rc divided with the equivalent delta Ra plus Rb plus Rc. Similarly in order to find this R2 we will see the adjacent delta branches Ra into Rc so I will put here RC into RA or you can put here RA into RC also right and divide it with the delta equivalent that is RA plus RB plus RC. Then in order to find this R3 in numerator it will be a same the delta equivalent RA plus RB plus RC but numerator will slightly change. We will see the adjacent delta branches which are connected to R3. So here we have R into RP. So we'll put here R into RB. So in this way you can easily able to 
convert delta connection into star current connection, right? What are points you need to remember? In delta to star, if you want to convert this delta into star and all the resistances connected in delta are same, right? Uh, there you need to remember this point. If the resistances are equal, then its equivalent star connection is reduced by 3 times. Can you see? Here if the resistance is 6, we have an equal resistance in all the branches and if the resistance is 6, it will reduce by R by 3. So 6 by 3 you will get 2. So you can directly convert into star connection and put here 2 ohm. And for the capacitor case, it will be opposite. So what you will do? 6 into 3, 18. Now, whenever you convert this star into delta, what you need to do? Suppose all the resistances are equal, then only you can apply this. The resistances are multiply with R3. So you'll get here 3 ohm. And in case of a capacitor, it will be opposite. In case of a capacitor, it will be suppose your resistance are not given, they are capacitor, capacitor, so it will become 1 by 3. Now moving to the solution. If you remember our question. This was our question and where the values are given, the delta values are given 20, 10, 10. Right? So, in order to find R1, I am writing here Rb into Rc divided by this formula. So, I am just putting out these values. Rb for Rb, I will write here 10. Rc, I will write here 10. As we are converting delta and star, so in the denominator, we will put a delta equivalent R e plus R b and R c. So, we will get 2.5 ohm. Similarly, we can easily able to find R2. R c into R a, we will substitute the values here. And then the delta equivalent is same. You can calculate it. And finally, you will get the answer. Similarly, for R3, we have formula, so you can easily able to put out the values here, 20 into 10, then delta equivalent, you will get 5 ohm. So basically you will get 2.5, 5 and 5, R1, R2 and R3. So can you see the answer in this option? So for R1 you have 2.5, so option A is the correct answer. And here we have the another uh, options. Can you see uh, these three options are e e equally? But what we need to do, we need to put the structure here. If we have a point and a point that is also given in a question, you have to put this whole star connection as it is here. This R1 should be connected with RB and RC, and here R3 should be connected between RA and RB CC point and then only you need to apply so after applying that I solve this uh, derivation or you can say I solve this formula and then I put it out the values right so this you should be keeping in mind right uh, so I hope you like the lecture just remember these points how to convert delta into star and how to convert star into delta and these key points are equally important. I hope you like this lecture. Thank you.